Christmas when you're a kid. You look forward to it for so long, you wonder if it's ever going to get here. And then finally, you hey. see the sign in the distance. We finally made it. We stopped, of course, at the border between the Yukon Territory and Alaska. It's a great little photo op. You can't do all that driving and not stop at the Welcome to Alaska sign. <laughs> the first thing you'll notice when you cross over into Alaska and you get to the first town, which is Toke, you'll notice they have a lot of car wash facilities or RV wash facilities. Everybody stops and uh, that's your opportunity to wash down your rig and get it looking pretty again for the rest of your trip. <laughs> 60 dollars and two cents 79 dollars 93 cents 104 dollars and 86 cents in palmer alaska one thing to remember when you are planning your trip to alaska is that it is significantly more expensive than the lower 48 states um, just remember they have to ship everything there so that cost gets added to what they normally would pay for things when you go shopping in stores prices are significantly higher when you go out to eat, prices are significantly higher. If you've never paid $20 for fish sticks in your life, <laughs> prepare to do so in Alaska. Now, they're some of the best fish sticks you'll ever have. This is true. <laughs> so if you're trying to stay within a budget, once you make it to a big city like Anchorage, go to a big box store and kind of load up on groceries because that will really help you save money. One thing to remember about Alaska is that boondocking is readily available. They actually have a lot of paved turnouts on a lot of the highways that are specifically for the purpose of folks stopping for the night. So don't worry, you won't have a problem finding a safe spot to park on the side of the highway for the night. And you might end up with some of the best views that you'll have your entire trip in those sort of unplanned out of the way spaces. Yeah, we really had some unforgettable nights just camping along the side of the highway. It's another way, frankly, that you can save some money when you're in this uh, very expensive state on a very expensive trip. It never hurts to camp for free every once in a while. So you can do that in Alaska without a whole lot of trouble. How expensive is Alaska? Well, this is my souvenir coffee cup. <laughs> I could only afford half a cup. <laughs> Rim shot, please. Yes. Yes, Alaska is expensive. However, you need to plan on at least a few splurges while you're there. For us, one of our favorite splurges was a day tour of Kenai Fjords National Park. We took a boat trip. Day cruise is what they call it. And it takes you out to some of the large uh, glaciers and you see whales and you know all sorts of wildlife that you really have a harder time seeing from the shore. And they also had a full buffet lunch on the boat so it's really a full day excursion. I think it was eight hours total. We, we left you know eight or nine o'clock in the morning and came back that evening. It's very tasty and clean. It was expensive, but it was totally worth it because we saw some things that we wouldn't have seen otherwise. We saw bald eagles. We saw orcas, also known as killer whales. We saw humpback whales. We saw glaciers calving. <laughs> and we had some great food. We met a lot of nice people that day and just had some really special experiences. So even though it was a bit of a splurge, I certainly felt it was money well spent. Ooh. That's a big piece of ice. A big chunk of ice. Here you go. No way. Wow. wow. <laughs> play with that. <laughs> Glacial ice. Something else you need to do in Alaska is get your butt out to a glacier. That's right. One way or another, you can either <laughs> hike to a glacier or you can paddle to a glacier. Pretty cool. Yeah, it does. You 
could even take a train to a glacier. I want to get out a little bit and explore some of the countryside and see some sites that you just don't see in the lower 48. It's the whole reason you're there, right? Another reason people go to Alaska is the fishing. <laughs> And even if you're not a fisherman yourself, just watching people fish is kind of fascinating. The salmon are so plentiful in certain areas. The waters are just packed full of them. So, you know, it's just a really unique experience to see people fishing in that. And then, of course, you also see bears fishing in that environment. So it's a great place to um, people watch and to bear watch. Get yourself out there to a river with some salmon and you won't regret it. If you're into photography, be sure you've got your best photo gear with you mm -hmm. because you will have unique photographic opportunities in Alaska that you simply won't get any other place. And on that note, be sure to subscribe to my sister channel, loloho.photo, to learn more about photography. The other thing I would say is don't feel like you have to go in June. We went later in the season and it worked really well for us. So be flexible on the time that you're going to go and just, you know, go with the flow. Don't be too uptight and you're going to really enjoy it and have a great trip. Yeah, we actually left a little bit later in the season than most people. And as a result, we had few crowds going up and we encountered some of the best weather of the year while we were in Alaska. And we also almost got swamped and swept into the sea in Valdez, but... <laughs> That's <laughs> so another story. <laughs> when the rainy season begins, you want to head south. That's right. But we did catch the best weather of the year we, in Denali Park. Yeah. And, and I brought home the t-shirt to prove it. And we missed the state bird of Alaska, also known as the mosquito. That's right. <laughs> the mosquito season had passed by the time we got there, so... You might want to pack an that. extra pint of blood just to be prepared for the mosquitoes. That's right. <laughs> if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be talking more about Alaska in the future, and we're going to talk about all sorts of good travel stuff. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to check back again for more wonderful Loloho videos. So that's it, guys. We're Sean and Christy Michael. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, Loloho. Lo -lo if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Sing it. Lots of noise. I am making noise. Keeping the bears away. Stay away all day. <laughs>